Hi guys, welcome to YouTube and uh, one of our or our first video on the new Siemens TIA version 11 portal. Uh, this is totally integrated automation and this is the new uh, PLCs that uh, Siemens released um, not too long ago. Um, the version that we'll be looking at um, is to do with the replacement for S7200 PLCs which is now known as the S7 1200s. Um, I've started the software up and I will apologize if I keep pausing the video and then coming back. Uh, this software is quite heavy on resources, uh, not quite sure why but my uh, my laptop seems to struggle a little bit with uh, uh, with switching screens and everything else on it so if I pause and, and come back I apologize for that um, I've started the software up uh, and you notice that I've got a couple of uh, programs that I've been messing around with um, but what we'll do is we'll start off by making a, a, a new project and we'll uh, start adding some hardware to it shortly as you open up the screen basically this system now very similar to S7200. If anybody's used the S7200, you know that you also have, as part of S7200, uh, which, which was the MicroWin, um, you have the ability to also have the TD200, which was just a little, um, little text panel, uh, and it was integrated into the system. Uh, S7200 or the TIA. Um, also integrates HMI usage so we don't have to use WinCC with this um, you can do everything from this one piece of software um, so it's useful in that sense um, but I've not used it a great deal so I don't know what its uh, limits are at the moment but we'll we'll find that out when we'll go through this what we'll do is, as you see, as I say, the, this is the first screen and we, we get up the start and down the menu here you've got the welcome tour and install software that tells us what we've got. We can set the user face into a uh, language, the interface language. Uh, we can migrate projects. Um, now these are, uh, can be quite useful. I have uh, seen a couple of uh, 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 migrated projects however you better be very very careful with this because it doesn't do what you expect it to do for some reason when it migrates projects it brings everything into OB blocks now anybody familiar with the S7 300s OB blocks objective blocks and they tend to uh, be part of your system um, functions to uh, uh, to monitor functions um, and to create your uh, your main uh, OB which is to tell the system in which blocks to run and in which order etc you're scanning as well as all the other blocks that uh, check your hardware for failures uh, IO failures programming failures etc so be very very careful with that migrate project I sometimes wonder actually looking at it where it'd be easier just to take your program and rewrite it. Um, you can open an existing project or create a new project. We'll start by creating a new project and we'll call that um, YouTube TIA for now. Um, I've got my path and I've got my author name and any comments. Just click the create and this will then take a few seconds, I hope I won't have to put it on pause just yet, to create our uh, project. Okay, so again it may slow down because of my uh, camera uh, software as well that's running. Okay, so once we've got our project created, uh, we see our screen has changed now that we can now set up and configure a device, write a PLC program or configure an HMI. We'll start off by configuring the device. Now, once we get to this part, we can go to our details, list and thumbnails. And down here, you'll see that we've got device networks, PLC programming, visualization, and online diagnostics. If we click the PLC programming, we now need to select a device, okay? So we can add a new device here by clicking add new 
and what we'll do is here you've now got a selection of whether it's a PLC you choose or an HMI we'll choose a PLC for now and I'm going to go down and do the uh, 12 uh, 14 here okay when you double click this as I say it is taking a little bit of time it is fairly slow um, it'll open up and it'll give you all of the PLC part numbers and types that you've got available under that particular directory under here we've only got the one and it gives you the information about that PLC now, I've double clicked on that and it's now creating that project for me so again it's taking a little time I will pause at this point uh, just to allow it time to, to get there okay so now it brought up that main and I double clicked it and it's now opened up the main part of the software and as you can see here we've got our uh, device a PLC one and we've got programming blocks already in there um, and you can add a new block uh, you've got PLC tags and data types etc um, and we'll go through those uh, bit by bit we go to the device network uh, device networks here uh, notice our little PLC okay and I'll just try and reduce that down okay and we've got our PLC if I double click it it then opens up and you see now that I've got the main processor which is here and in the box below it the device overview you see all of the components that make up the PLC itself and it's also automatically addressed them so from uh, from our block here, our first uh, first PLC block, you'll notice that we've got it's a digital input with 14 inputs and a digital output with 10. Okay, and it's addressed them with uh, input 0 through to 1. Okay, so we've got effectively 16 bits here available because we've got uh, two. Uh, two bytes of eight byte zero and byte one which is word zero sixteen of course we've only got the fourteen digital input so there's two bits that we won't be using there and we've got the digital output ten and it's assigned sixteen bits to that so again there's going to be six bits that we won't use We've also got on board on this processor, we've got high speed counters available, uh, pulse generators, and we have a Profibus or oh, Profinet interface, okay, port one uh, on that slot. We're not going to worry too much about that for now, but the main ones that you will use obviously is going to be your inputs and your outputs. So let me just reduce that a little bit. Okay, along the side here, we also have more connection modules. Okay, so we may want to add uh, further modules to this for inputs, outputs, etc. You do that by selecting from your catalog here digital inputs. If you click that down, you'll find that you've got digital input. 8 blocks or 16 blocks 24 volt DCs we'll select if you see you've got the selection there and when you select one I've selected the digital input 16 notice that it highlighted everything up just there it's gone away now ha select it it's highlighted it everywhere there that it can go to also the device overview as highlighted at where it can go to as well remember our module number is one so it can't go in this block because this is where our PLC is left click and drag and then you can drop it either into there or into here okay so we can pop it into 
module 2 and there we go we've now got our module and it has addressed it automatically for us from 8 to 9 okay it's 16 inputs so it's got two bytes byte 8 and byte 9 or word 8 and then you've got the 16 bits for that you can change that remember that we've our input address here was uh, word 0 which was byte 0 and byte 1 so we could rename this 2 and just by putting the 2 in it will automatically uh, do the follow on address of byte 2 and byte 3 so that now follows on after our PLC here the same with the outputs exactly the same with the outputs we can bring in a 16 select the 16 block drag and drop it and again the output is now 12 to 13 it can be any number you want it's purely how you want to, to set the outputs up again remember that in our main block our output on our main block here uh, of the PLC was 0 to 1 so we could do the next follow on which is 2 as well now I know some people don't like the idea of that they'll do uh, their numbers that will follow on so that will be 0 inputs will be 0 to 1 and then the next lot will be 2 to 3 and then the outputs will be 3 to 4 it's purely up to you how you want to address your units I tend to like addressing my units all very similar so I just do them following on so I might have an input 1.0 but I also have an output 1.0 that's just me it's the way I like to do it okay you have got further uh, blocks again inputs uh, analog inputs analog outputs and further communication points so you've got a profibus so that if you want to add on uh, to an existing system where you've got Profibus maybe uh, you've run in a few S7 300s just select and notice now that the rack comes up here not at this side it comes up on the left hand side so you can drag and drop your Profibus card into wherever you like okay and again you set your addressing up for it um, I can find it there you go there's the slot and set up your addressing and everything else as you want and this goes for every module that is there so point to points network cards etc they're all there so that is basically how to create uh, your hardware for your PLC now you may want to put a uh, an HMI into it and the HMI um, I will uh, select one and we will set it up from there okay so I've just closed all of these down just to make it a little easier um, there's our project name we need to add a new device okay if you double click that you've got PLC or HMI this time we're going to do an HMI let's go for a fairly biggish one um, and we're going to have a basic DP 10 inch and we will select OK again this will take a few seconds so I'm just going to pause and allow it to get on with it OK it's now uh, selected the system and what we can do is now set up some of the uh, parameters so we need to tell it to connect to something so we'll tell it to connect to PLC 1 because that was our PLC um, you can do screen layouts you can set up your alarms from here uh, how many screens you want by adding screens uh, system screens and you can add buttons okay so you may not want the language and you may not want um, 
uh, whatever that other one was that I just clicked at it um, and you can take off the buttons all together you can put them on the left or put them on the right or not have them on at all um, I might not want the exit language or anything else okay so once you've done all of that um, and set everything up you can give it a name as well if you wanted to um, you know but for now we'll just click the finish just really to quickly run through on how to set up this hardware okay so while it now configures all of those connections we have now got ourselves a basic screen okay and similar in WinCC in a way in the way that it's laid out um, we've got a couple of screens here but the other thing I will show you uh, straight away um, so that in the future it's, uh, it's easier to find is that we can actually go through and um, simulate the actual machine okay it's finished setting up it was just uh, delaying a little bit um, if you go to your HMI device here under your project tree and your devices right click it you see that you will have start simulation just by clicking that simulation it will connect up notice we've got the time and everything else on here this is your root screen you press the that little button there you go to screen 0 or screen 1 back and so on you also have the buttons on the bottom here that you can assign for later we've not assigned anything as yet so it's not doing a great deal okay so I'll just uh, close that simulation down and there we go so you've got your HMI uh, basic setup and now you can do anything that you want uh, with that screen okay I hope that is being useful and helpful um, we'll be doing a few more of these uh, these videos uh, just to take you through uh, uh, this new software and the new S7 1200s um, so yeah for now um, take care if you want to uh, get be notified of any future videos please subscribe and uh, if you've got any uh, uh, messages by all means send them along and I will try and ask to answer them as best I can and if you would kindly click the like or dislike if you do dislike it please send me a message of why and I will try and correct that but uh, if you click the like it makes it easier for Google to find and uh, for other users to be able to find these videos as well alright take care for now and I will